Sister wives Mary Brown accuses Cody of not owning his part, a mid-end of marriage. Dear viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Mila. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Mary Brown is finally ready to move on from her estranged husband, but she does not leave without giving Cody Brown a piece of her mind captured the bed and breakfasting owner, severing all ties to the polygamist legally, spiritually, and emotionally. Although the 52-year-old rose to fame as the first woman to tie the knot to Cody, she is the third of four wives to exit the plural marriage. Who is to blame for the dissolution of their marriage? You Mary Brown calls out Cody for publicly trying to save face. This season of Sister Wives has been an emotional roller coaster with the Brown family's rocky dynamic amid the end of Cody's plural marriage and a strange relationship with his older children. One would think the father of 18 would preserve the few bonds he had left. However, he broke his last ties to Mary Dot, the Lizzie's Heritage Inn owner, announced her plans to leave Cody and spend more time in Utah, the location of her bed and breakfast business. In her confessional, the reality TV star explained she could no longer tolerate the patriarch's inconsistencies, claiming he refused to be accountable for ending their longtime union. In her words, Dot don't like that he's putting all this on me, and he's also not owning that. He just doesn't have the interest. He said it to me in private, but he's still not saying it here. Mary believed Cody refused to be accountable for his part in the dissolution of the pair's marriage because he wanted to save face in public. However, the father of 18 once told the businesswoman there would never be a chance to rekindle their romance behind closed doors. The patriarch's unwillingness to work things out with his first wife was evident in the 54-year-old splitting of the family's Coyo Pass property. In his discussion with Mary and his only remaining wife, Robin Brown, Cody did not offer the inn owner an equal share of the land like the rest of the wives. Naturally, the unfairness of the situation upset Mary, who declared she would spend more time in Utah and would likely not extend her lease in Flagstaff, Arizona. The entrepreneur cited Cody as the root problem, saying, It's all coupled with everything else that's been going on, and the statements Cody has made to me this year that I probably won't be renewing my lease here. In her conversation with Cody, the Alameda native called out the patriarch for forcing her hand, telling him, Things that you've said to me and about me this year, it changes things. However, an unaccountable Cody fired back saying, Now you're making it about what I said. Why can't we get on the page where we're making about where we are instead about what I say the pair did not see eye to eye on owning responsibility for the dissolution of their bond, but they agreed it was time it ended. I sit here feeling like it's ridiculous to stay in a doobie bound marriage, Cody said, to which Mary replied, I don't think it's fair to either of us. Unsurprisingly, the patriarch did not seem heartbroken about the finalization of his relationship with Mary. In his confessional, the 54-year-old noted, It was a negotiation that was long overdue. I mean, it's been maybe a wasted seven years for Mary, I have no idea. But we've agreed now, and I hope she finds peace, because I will. Leaving Cody was always a part of Mary's options. Weeks before ending her relationship with Cody, the entrepreneur shared two options regarding her marriage to the polygamist. In a Sister Wives episode, the 52-year-old reflected on her future following a disastrous anniversary celebration. Mary tried to rekindle her romance with Cody by encouraging the patriarchs to celebrate their wedding anniversary. However, the father of 18 unwillingly participated in the event because he believed their marriage had ended and did not want a relationship with the businesswoman. Recalling the failed celebrations in her confessional, the bed and breakfasting owner noted there were two ways to resolve her relationship with Cody. To continue living like I have for the past eight years or so, which is, you know, a freaking amazing, badass, independent person that is officially married to somebody but not emotionally, right? And I can keep doing that. Or I can terminate it. I can take the steps to move forward to be done with it. The media personality concluded, hinting that she might grant Cody's wish to finalize the end of their longtime marriage.